Welcome to Micro Civilization. I am the Emperor, and if you're watching this on Twitch, welcome. If you're watching this over on YouTube, also welcome. Maybe check out either or, depending on where you are. And we are going to jump into Micro Civilization. I covered this during the last Steam Next Fest, where it was a demo. And I ooh, quite enjoyed it, and I must say the uh, full release is actually quite a lot more interesting than the demo even showcase, which makes some sense, but I really enjoyed that. So we'll play a little bit of that. We might play a little bit of Crusader Kings later. So let's get into it right now. I'm going to start with where I left. So I had ascended once. And we are, again, in the Neolithic, but we have unlocked the ability to get into the classical area. Meaning, in our research tree, we have a whole bunch more options uh, that we did not see down in the demo. I think uh, the furthest we could go was... Well, I actually don't quite know. It was somewhere here, kind of, the... Uh, the research and stuff isn't exactly as it should be. So, let's see. Oh, I'm getting achievements here, which I'm not quite sure what for, because I do not have 10,000 population, but uh, them's the things. So, we have uh, a lot of more free space than we have actual people. So, let's try and not waste this. We can also turn this off again. Uh, we don't need to reduce risk further. We still have some risk going on, but I don't wish to cull our population any more than we are already culling them. So that's quite important to me to ensure that we are not needlessly killing people. That would be a big no-no in most recent places and unrecent places. So... So we have our heroes set up. Honestly, I'm mainly going by level because that is important for these quests that we can do out here and how difficult they will be. We're currently working on two quests. Uh, one where we fight war with some barbarians uh, close by to turn their lands into a field eventually. And we are also exploring a, I would say, peaceful village. And there the barbarians come. So right now we don't have all that many options to fight them. So we will use what little options we have. Ideally to greatest effect. So let's push ahead a little bit here. Get ourselves another spearman. And that's the barbarians taken care of. Let's replenish our spearman as we can. And we'll select a forester hut back. I'm not expecting anything bad happening in a little while. So we have a 15% risk of something bad coming up. Uh, I'll, I'll risk not having a fort for uh, the time being. So let's go. We want... Um, what could we do with a suspicious cult? We get 20% uh, learning, uh, research for 5 minutes. That costs us nothing. Or we get 10% risk per minute for 5 minutes uh, to get a common hero or better. Honestly, I'll go with the free thing because I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat and I don't really see the point in inviting risks to our doorstep if we can so avoid it. Let's go ahead and research the plow so each bit of food services more people, meaning we need less food of it overall. Uh, we are good on free space, but we're not good, not, not good in is the hill for I don't know what's on going on with my speech today, but there we go. Right, I don't want any more huts, so we can just set it to no production at all. We are currently starving because uh, we are helping here in the sawmill, which is a little bit of a problem because, well, uh, that means we are ha having less people working uh, the fields. So let's go and talk to these people again and attacking them once more here would also help difficulty normal so the difficulty level uh, you can see a number six here meaning this is a six level challenge we do have a level eight hero so we're going to be fine dealing with that more or less that's kind of how the damage and everything works it's not really what type of unit you have that really does uh, matter and measure into it but generally speaking 
it is quite more important in my experience and opinion that you have uh, a certain amount of uh, of hero levels to kind of sit behind that. We also got Stonehenge in the bag there, which generates us level up uh, resources so we can unlock more cool stuff in between our civilization runs, our micro civilization runs. So that's pretty neat, I'd say. Let's keep going here. Push along, help fill up the free space there. I'm not quite sure, uh, but uh, an ex-worker is at 317. So it's not every 10, every such, you know, it's... Oh, we get... We get what we get. A hero out of this for reaching that. Very good. And the plow is researched, so we now um, get way more food because... The same amount of food is covering more people and we could now go ahead and get ourselves some pottery going, I think. We do have a new hero. It is not better what we have. And sadly, he's elite. So if we look at the recipes here, uh, we could try and combine four elite heroes into something. So let's see. Elite, elite, elite elite uh, but we do not have the resources to do just that so we'll have to wait and not do it it's nothing else for us to build right now so we are just looking uh to see that we have a bit of a balance in free space existing and our population growing while we build up here so when i played the demo it was really really hectic it was really really hectic but that was down to how i played it as well didn't really fully understand what influences having uh, crises appear. Plus, I think the end game was uh, kind of geared toward overwhelming you and having stuff happen all the time. This is much more relaxed uh, than the demo level was. So I fully recommend it still. But I think this is a much better experience. And this is early access, mind. But I think it's absolutely a great game. I fully support this being played. All right, so we're being attacked again. Um, this time a little bit harder. Uh, I'm not. I'm clear. I'm not putting up a wall to prevent uh, them killing 48 people because our militia is gonna jump in there. Also, our heroes might jump in there at times. So as long as we have uh, militia and some heroes active. I'm not too worried about uh, them reaching their goals there. I'm not quite sure. I think the, the larger skulls are only really depicting, hey, this is going to be worse. We can also use some food to build ourselves a, um, a nice spearman right away from what we have built out in our little sawmill over time. We've got a nice hero. we got some gold and a dilemma card. So... We gain nothing, we gain nothing, we gain nothing. <laughs> Cannibal community, uh, community center. Well, I think we'll go with the 50%, uh, 10% chance risk per minute for five. And we'll activate this, which uh, reduces all risk chance by 20%, which is good. We want that. And um, it, it kills a little bit our population. So that's, I mean, suboptimal. Many would argue, me among them. But since we're so close in free space and population anyhow, eh, I'll take that and make sure that we have less of a risk of things happening to us. And while we wait here, we're going to research some more stuff. We want the dry storage up because that allows us something. Honestly, I quite don't... Uh, hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what each uh, building does while I select it. I always forget between runs, but doesn't matter. It'll pop up in a moment. I think the dry storage allows us to have more spearmen. Yes, it does. So uh, now we can prepare a little better. You can see we're losing food pretty hard. So we're going to throw someone out of the sawmill. Something that I didn't like quite like is the, the, the dry storage here. Uh, it gives us a extra um, army capacity, basically. But the big problem with that is if you turn that off at any point in time, 
all the build soldiers that you have, they just kind of vanish. They, they, they die. They're executed. Which, personally, I think is, is um, you know, it's kind of horrific. <laughs> so, I, I try and keep the things on which give us an increase of what we have. Yeah? Uh, definitely not building anymore. Because uh, with the reduction in risk... I think we can turn that off now. So, we have some risk occurring, but we can always turn it. Ooh, Stonehenge gave us an Ascension unlock item. So, I think we got two out of Stonehenge in this run so far, which is pretty cool. And we just got this lad here, Kitty Brayton. Um, they all have different things that they will do. Like, this one gives us some uh, iron. So, for example, right now we could switch him out just to get the iron going if we don't really care about anything else. But, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm not flexible enough anymore as I age to quickly switch out heroes depending on the situation we're currently in. So, I set a quorum of qualified leaders who will then qualified lead us. Uh, let's, see. let's discover breeding. I think that's a, that's a lovely thing to discover which will help us with our food production, which is a little bit low. Now, we could, and we should definitely go check these out. Uh, we convert them into a village, meaning we get a worker out of this one. And we could go attack the barbarians again. Now, this one here is hard, but the outcome is pretty, pretty, pretty darn decent for us. Gives us plus 20 per second if the windmill is active. We haven't actually researched the windmill yet, but... Uh, I think we'll go there. Uh, we are totally, absolutely, 100% fine uh, doing all that. The encampment, extra fort capacity, I don't think we need right now. Maybe we should switch up here so we can actually get the windmill. Otherwise, we unlock that for no particularly good reason. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do for you? How you doing? Nice to have you. Righty, righty, righty. We'll build the encampment, but we're not going to put a worker on it, I think, for now. So, just lots and lots of clicking. Lots and lots of clicking. Tifa, let me ask you. Have you played this? Have you even heard of this before? Or is this entirely new to you? This game here. While I click away. We reached it. Very good. But I said I didn't want anyone working it for the moment. We'll work a little bit on houses, but up out with the food as well. Oh, nice. Well, you're way ahead of me there. Played and unlocked the medieval era. What do you think of it? Let me know your thoughts. I'm interested. Because I think this is this is one of those games which is gonna fly under the radar. And I think that's a huge shame because it's so well done, so well executed, it's so interesting. It combines so many concepts I really enjoy, uh, but in a really proper, proper good way. That makes a lot of sense. Also, have you got tips? Maybe, hey, <laughs> I don't know. These are working, it's all fine. We can see it up here as well, of course. And we'll click a little bit. Always keep in mind we don't want to upset the clicky gods. Okay, now we can work on the windmill so we get the best out of everything going on here. I like that we have this already up. That'll gonna help us in it just a moment. Yeah, some people I bet use auto clickers. Well, not much to be done about that, eh? I like the fact that they put in if you if you click too much, you're gonna get a penalty to a degree. Uh, so I really appreciate that as a as a base idea to help work against auto clickers and all that kind of stuff. You know, I think that's really cool. Like you can do it, sure, but you're potentially hampering your own progress. Oh what? Okay, I completely uh, underestimated or misremembered something. <laughs> so our civilization just fell, which happens, you know, it's it's not necessarily a bad thing. 
Um, reason, 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 reason. I thought the militia would block a crisis thing. But I think that is actually a hero skill that is unlocked. That you have to equip. That isn't always the same thing. So, um, I'm not quite sure what I did wrong just now. But all of our people were basically eradicated. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine your uh, civilizations are having a hard time. Mine definitely has as well. Uh, we're working on it. Why am I not getting any food? It's crowded. Oh, because we don't have housing. Okay, that's a problem. But since we got a little bit of uh, food still stored, we can quickly help this. How much will we get? A bunch. So we can work on getting this back to okay. Just got to be careful now that we don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got heroes chosen, but maybe they weren't the right people for the job. Let's say. Like, this is what we got right now. Um, yeah, on defense, 25% to block. Uh, it's all okay, but it's really... I for sure thought militia would block. Oh, but I was wrong. So, do we go back out on the offensive? I think so. Though, a new crisis would definitely hurt us. But I think we can scout this. This doesn't hurt us. This is not going to be bad for us. But we for sure got to grow some more. Before we do something new. By the way, have you ever figured out, maybe, um, th this up here, the 218 death we are responsible for. Is this our people or is this also people who attack us? Do you know? I feel it's just our people, but I do not want to make any assumptions here. Okay, we got plenty of housing. So we'll... What should we do? No, it's all fine. We can put someone on the granary, maybe. Or we'll get a worker soon, so I think we'll just grow our population a little bit more. Alright. I mean, we kind of died. We're kind of recovering. I like that it's not the end of the world. It's not like, oh, da -da -da, start entirely over. No, 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 no. You kind of keep things a little bit. So so I really appreciate that. That's, that's pretty fun. That's good. So we even kept our gold. So we could actually work a little bit here. Um, we don't really have much, but we could buy us some food. Some extra extra succulent food here. Why not help us with the growth? So the more population you have, the more resistant you are to crises, obviously. Because if 200 people die in your crisis and you only have 200 people, like what happened to us just now, uh, you're done with that civilization. So the more people you have, the better it is. I also really like that this is... What you click is equivalent to what your little dudes are doing on the map. So we click a lot of food, they hurry over to the food now and they're going to harvest... If we click a lot on the wood, they run over to the forest and, and they, they chop the woods. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, all right. So we can just get grain. Now we can get some money. Eh, we'll do that. We'll go with free. Get the money. And now we can upgrade this here uh, to a village, meaning we get a plus one worker out of that, which is pretty great, I think. Um, should we get... This after completing the square final granary reactive plus one soldier capacity. I'm not sure if that which is better, like more wood or more soldier capacity. I feel like more soldier capacity. 35% risk for fire or something. Uh, let's go do that. 
I think that's a little bit less intrusive uh, than the mammoth, which are likely to trample us to death yet again. Plus, we can offset this by killing our people, by using our, uh, our thing here. So now it's down from 30%, but our people are dying now. <laughs> but we can help that. We'll just throw more people, more food at the people. They have to grow quicker than they die. Ooh, we got a nice new thingy there. And we reached 200, meaning we get what? Oh, we got a hero. Nice. And since we have a 100% chance for a better hero drop, I hope this one is good. Well, okay. When barracks active, plus one wood and one stone per click. And 33% damage extra. That's pretty good. I think he's better than who we got in here. The 11% damage on the hill fort isn't bad, but I like the resources better. And a 33% damage overall, that's, that's pretty that's pretty good, I'd say. Tifa, how did you how did you learn about micro civilization, I wonder? If you were so kind to enlighten us. I really wonder. I, I found it, I think, through the Steam Discovery queue. Just click through it. I do that from time to time. And then I saw that it had a, a demo for the next fest. So I was really, really excited about that. I'm really happy the next fest is such a good idea. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, Steam Discovery queue. Nice. Nice. Look at us. Being kind of similar. And yet, absolutely not. Because we don't know each other. <laughs> Alright, let's buy some of food. For a little bit more time. Yeah, I think it's a good purchase. What is it right now? 15 bucks? It's 10% like off due to early access release, so I think that's pretty darn good. Uh breeding, yeah. Plus one per worker. So let's put someone here so we can have more spearmen. And we should probably build a windmill. You're picky about the games you choose. Oh, yeah. RM40? RM40, is that... What's RM? Is that Indian? Rupees? I don't know what RM stands for. I'm sorry. Maybe I reveal my pure ignorance right now. Malaysian ringed? Oh, that's so cool. Are you from Malaysia? It's fantastic. Uh, come on. Ah, there we go. Got the windmill going. Oh, plus 14. Look at that. We are speeding. We are flying. We don't even need anything else active. We can just go like this and we can stop this also. We don't have any crisis looming anymore. Except for maybe too many people now that we have so much stuff. Isn't the internet kind of amazing? I know I, I harp on about this a lot, but like I'm in Germany, you're in Malaysia, possibly, or someone there, and we're just kind of talking, having a having an evening, watching each other. Well, you're watching me play, but giving the input as well. <laughs> Eight dollar. Yeah, well, it's about uh, more than double that in Europe, but then again, you know, cost of living and all that stuff, uh, obviously. It would be more here. Yeah, but but I think it's it's kind of fair. Regional pricing is kind of fair. All right. Let's try our hand at these barbarians again. They they got us once. They're not going to get us again. We are much better prepared this time. I know better this time. Um this guy here, do we have a better guy for this? No, we do not. Do we have a better guy for the square? We do not. All right. Good luck, brave warriors. Have three fort units. What do we get? Research? Research. Okay. I'm not opposed to more research speed. 
I really hope that this uh, developer has some success with this. Really, really, really do. It's also the reason I'm streaming it tonight. Like, generally I play Crusader Kings and try and teach that, but these kind of games, they need coverage. Even if it's just one person talking to four people. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. It just needs to be out there. Division of labor. Oh, extra money. Can't research that yet. So let's go for the archers. Now, the cool thing is if you upgrade to archer, uh, the amount of units you have is going to stay the same. Uh, so you immediately get four archers from your four spearmen. I really like that. That's a, that's a good concept. I find that very enjoyable. Can you check for me on Steam what that developer also has done? Or what else they might have done? Oh, okay. We're, we're creating vagabonds now because we don't have enough housing. Let's help that. Uh, I was wondering what, what else this developer might have created in terms of games. You can check on Steam if, if you... Ah, oh, you know what? Let me just check myself. It's not like I'm doing anything super important right now. Yeah. Andre Homola. Well, as far as I can tell, this man has only done micro-civilization. It's pretty cool. Looks like a single-person developer. Always most impressed by these, of course. There have been so many single developers that have done really, really great work in the past few years. All right, let's help out with the food production a little bit. Slowing down again. But soon, soon, once the barbarians are defeated, we're looking good again. Okay, so we'll destroy them. We'll put this, put that. And we're absolutely destroyed them. Not even a question how we deal with them. So let's let's get going on this. And convert this to farmland. So our windmill now produces plus 20. It's crazy. Let's check this out. So we get one more soldier thing. Uh, let's turn this on so we have a little less crisis uh, possibility. And we'll build ourselves some new archers. Look at this. Look at how much food we're generating. I can have this on for days now. It's fine. Like what we're losing in people, we're immediately getting back. Level 21 barbarian is hard. I can only imagine. Like these are what? Level 5? Level 6? Okay, we got a new boy for the circle. But he isn't as good as this guy. Oh, they're actually quite similar. Uh, quite similar, but I think I prefer this guy still. He's a little bit worse than this guy. How did you make it this far? I mean, I don't know what my limit is, but... You have to start over every single time you reach uh, the end of a civilization. So, I imagine that's quite quite a bit of work. Quite a bit of time that went in there. How much game time you got? Uh, do we build a marketplace? I want the arches first. Then we build a marketplace. Eight hours? Okay. I'm at... Let me check. What am I at? Ah, well, I'm at 80 minutes or something. <laughs> All right, let's um, charge this up. Well, okay, that, that was a little bit overcharged, but no problem. The charges don't seem to go away, so that's pretty good. And we not got a new guy for that, but he's worse, way worse than this guy. Can't merge these. So eventually you get named heroes, right? Uh, popular or famous people from history. Have you done that? Have you have you gotten someone specific yet? 
<laughs> my civilization specifically, I would agree. I would agree. We are absolutely doomed to pure utter failure. So this guy is less of a level, but he is a rare, whereas this is a elite. So what's better, rare or elite? I don't know. I mean, he has more things that he can do, right? He has the level, query active, plus 10. Uh, ooh, the archers. What? Archer soldier recharge per second, 0.2%. What does that mean? I think he's better. Rare better than common. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bad times ahead. Let's get some uh, forts up here. And sh shoot. Sh let's just shoot uh, the crisis. Let's get some archers in here. Oh, uh, boy. So we got some shield going. Yeah, yeah. I am trying to keep a bit of an eye out. So we're creating a whole lot of vagabonds right now. So some people dying might not even be the worst idea, you know. I'm not going to do anything about that. I bet we can turn this off, honestly. We're not defending right now. I'm fine with some people dying. Let's throw the militia in there as well. There we go. We have survived the Neolithic crisis. We get another hero and we get some wood per minute. Which, yeah, we'll go into the archers. And we'll start researching the mud brick. What did we get? Oh, nice. A rare square hero level 8. When marketplace active, well, that doesn't help us much. We don't have that yet. But plus 40% stone per second. And plus 1.2, I think this is metal per second, yeah. So we don't have any metal right now. So we're just getting it. We don't get any stone. So that doesn't help us much yet. But it will. Uh, we need to build a hut. Or a bunch of huts anyway. So there's very little to do. You feel like. During the uh, events and the crises, but it's still a little bit overwhelming for me. You can pause, to be fair. You don't have to play it on speed if you don't want to. You can pause, unpause, speed up, speed down. So that's pretty okay, I think. It's pretty fair. Let's go do that quest and fight the mammoth once. Just so we get the quest done. And we don't see any other mammoth right now, so that's probably a sensible idea to do. And we need more houses. Let's uh, boost this and throw even more houses there. So we're now fine for houses for a little while. So we can work on our archers. Though we have one thing. No, 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 no. Let's switch. This is slowly generating them, I think. 0.2% per second. So, in 10 seconds, it's 2%. So, in 5 seconds, it... No. In 50 seconds, it's 20%. Okay, it's going to take a whole long time. <laughs> Let's just say that. But we can build up our forts while we do that. With the vagabonds coming in. Slowly, surely. Getting into their spots. We got this built, and now we can build ourselves a marketplace. So, uh, I don't want to spoil myself too much, but I'm curious. When we age up, what are the new things around? Like, we got barbarians, we got mountains, we got mammoth. What, what comes after that? What will we see? 
what will be around us. Oh, good God. We need to slow the reproduction of our people. Now we need to grow. Near future red coat. Ah, all right, okay. It's always the darn red coats. Modern era world war. All right, all right. Very interesting. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I don't like this. Convert the next ability to 72. I mean, okay. So we use this. We do it for the food, right? Uh, boost, boost, fire. <laughs> I like that. A common hero. Okay. You have uh, gotten to ascend there, but you're only playing up to medieval. Why? Why not going further? Lumber mill upgrade. Okay. Whips, mortar, stone wall. Uh, let's let's go with joinery. I'm not quite sure exactly how that works or what that means. Let's activate the people as well. And I would say going on the quest, we'll we'll work on this here. So we get the extra soldier capacity out of it. And we have two more heroes to welcome, but neither of them is really attractive in terms of how well they work. I like how everything kind of changes also. Now they have their bronze, uh, bronze era. Oh god, we should turn that on. I have a little bit too much crises potential there. I feel. Ooh, we could get an abode, but let's first fill up the archer. I just use up. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Now let's get our people some. Oh yes, Stonehenge. Thank you. And now we get our people some better housing. Another streamer already unlocked modern era. <laughs> it's crazy. I wish I had, I had that kind of time in my life, honestly. Let's boost our population a little bit. Nah, we're fine. Nah, we're not going to boost our population. That's fine. That's fine. We're converted into gold again. And we'll sell stone. Very, very slowly. <laughs> Boy. Uh, can we turn this off? Yeah, now we can turn it off. Okay, we do this. We do that. We do this. We do that. We do this. All right, okay. And we need to rebuild another archer. I don't know how people do it. I mean, if you, if you live off of this, right? If this is your main job, sure. You probably have the ability to do that. I sure don't. But I get a few hours streaming in every every week, which I'm very happy about, I must say. Anything else you'd like to play, Tifa? Are you a civilization person or a... I don't know. Uh, humanity was a pretty good civilization-esque game, in my opinion. I really quite enjoyed that one. As far as recent games go. Okay, crisis risk is gone. One hour, one life. Oh, what's that? Is that uh, it, it sounds a little bit like a roguelike. If I had to make a guess. Family farming civilization. Huh. I'll, I'll have to Google that. That sounds very interesting. Let me check that on Steam. Sounds interesting. One hour. Oh. Ah, one hour, one life. I do. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. Let's see. 
parenting and civilization get born to another player as your mother. Live an entire life in one hour. Have babies on your own in the form of other players. <laughs> Have a legacy for the next generation as you help to rebuild civilization from scratch. All right. That's interesting. Okay, is is it is it like always is it like a MMO where you always have people to play with or do you have to bring your own friends basically? Sixty five percent risk. It's some pretty pretty dangerous stuff we're doing around here. It's like an MMO. Ah, huh. interesting concept. Thirty euros. Baby is another player. <laughs> and everyone works together to build a better or a new civilization, yeah? Alright. Doop 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 doop. I like that we just can shoot the fire with arrows and it's just done. You know? <laughs> okay. I like the idea though. Um Man, there was a book recently. It was I, I don't remember the name at all, sadly. It was about humanity ex escaping to space, as it so often does, and then uh, things going wrong with the with the colony ships, and and they just kind of create a planet of super intelligent arachnids. And these arachnids, they then uh, transfer their knowledge as well through through the generations. I found that quite quite interesting as a concept. Old game, five year old. Okay. I mean, that's not necessarily bad. There's a lot of good older games out there. Okay, time to cull the population by turning on our uh, risk aversion functionality. And we can build them another abode now. So we can help a little bit. Is this diminishing? Uh, 42. All right. Do we see the abodes yet? I feel like this. Yeah, okay, there. Now that I asked, first abode popped up over there. So many cool little concepts in this game, honestly. It is really abode. Uh, Adobe is uh, is also a thing, but abode is a word. Uh, abode is basically a dwelling. I would say. They did not make a mistake, not with that. <laughs> hey, Fusion Warrior, welcome. Glad you could make it. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I assume you're in the US. It's just always quite late for me when I when I start. Or on the weekend, I try to do it early, but I'm just, I'm, I'm too old to do the night streams, you know? <laughs> just... From my day job, I'm just so darn tired after, like, let's say 10. Let's see. Uh, what's the next thing we could do? Extra wheat per worker? Might be good. Might be good, though we don't have a worker active, honestly. Uh, roads? Stone walls? Let's go with stone walls. Hey, I'm so happy to hear that. Honestly, you can't imagine. Thank you so much. I ju I, I'm just completely blown away by uh, people watching that stuff and, and finding finding it helpful. It's, it's what I want to do. Like, I never wanted to be a teacher, but I want to teach the games that I enjoy that I'm good at or that I understand. Um... So other people can also go and enjoy them or learn to understand them. So I'm really, really happy that I get to do it, especially with Crusader Kings. It's such a fantastic game, isn't it? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's spend some of this here. Your mom is a retired teacher. Oh, that's very cool. I had a bunch of teachers when, when I was growing up as the parents of friends of mine. 
I really appreciate teachers for what they do. I couldn't do it. That's why I never went to become a teacher. <laughs> I just I just knew I couldn't. Uh, it, 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 it would be too much for me. Right, okay. I don't think we really have much of a choice. We'll have to venture out uh, now, eventually. We could talk to some of these and turn them into a village. That's a little bit safer than anything else. And we get a lot of people out of it. So let's go talk to that village. Try and get ourselves a new lad. And definitely build more archers now that we can. Fusion, if you if you got anything on your mind for the for the Crusader Kings content, if you got any questions whatsoever, anything, let me know. Happy to help if I can. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do that. And that. And there we go. Dealt with the crisis. Let's get our archers back in line. What hero did we get? Oh, wow. A level 10 hero. Okay. That's definitely a huge improvement over what we got at the moment. Windmill active. I mean... 75% to deal militia. On defense, 75... I don't know. Does that mean that the militia deals 75% more damage? It sounds like it, but I couldn't be sure. Oh, yeah. And another hero unlocked. Oh, another good one. Really good one. Rare... Economy hero, plus 50% per second. Wow, okay, hello. An extra worker? Are you kidding me? What? That is amazing. I mean, we lose the we lose the income of the... Well, we actually don't lose that income. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, man, that's so cool to hear. Thanks. It's kind of what I was hoping, you know, sitting on my little imp throne, talking to my little imps, hustling and bustling, and I'm like, Listen, lads, all I want is for people to watch this stuff 24-7. Just uh, consume it all. <laughs> no, honestly, the, the, the thing is, there are a few content creators for me as well, which, which I just like, you know. I just listen to their stuff, even if I don't watch it necessarily, just... I mean, them in the background, and I always kind of hope that maybe someday I I could be that for someone. And and the fact that you're here telling me that, man, whew, that's gonna that's gonna carry me through the whole week. I'm telling you. <laughs> A gay burger. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Uh, do we take on the people? I think so. Yeah. Big wide breath of content. I'm I'm quite considering at the moment. Uh, I'm probably going to start a second channel, potentially on YouTube. I'm not entirely sure how, how we're going to do it, but uh, one of my D&D &D groups uh, wanted to wanted to start an actual play campaign. If you guys know what that is. If, if you have any idea, would you be interested in watching something like that? Like, we, we wouldn't have Cam on. Uh, it's all a little bit of a privacy thing for everyone. We like not plastering our faces all across the internet. But you think that would be something you would be interested in? I would be uh, dungeon mastering. I wouldn't be on the, on, on the channel I have right now, but uh, something separate maybe. Obviously, it wouldn't just be me. <laughs> We'd be the players as well. I'm definitely working on more content. <laughs> PNG tubing. Yeah. I I looked into that briefly, to be fair, briefly. And I didn't find anything super helpful on that. Like, are there, are there pre-made tools or something? Oh yeah, are they? Do, do you know any names of these? Because I said I, I tried to find something, 
I know that I can for I can use Adobe Animate uh, to create something. I, I tried it once, but <laughs> the kids in America are all right. More so than the older non so kid people in America. But oh god. Uh we definitely need more people. Let's boost this. Otherwise we're gonna run the risk of fires. I definitely don't want to fire. Uh let's stop culling our population, maybe. We're not at risk of anything right now. Oh look! Level eight is now achievable, conceivable. Let's go to talk to them. Only if you can't find me a tool like that, that would, be, that would be pretty amazing. Only thing is I would then have to find an artist that's willing to do all of our characters in the same art style. Without costing me an arm and a leg. But I have some connections over on Mastodon. Alright. I mean, if you, you can just post the name or something. Uh, I can Google it later. Would be perfectly fine. So, um... Okay, all right. Uh, Tifa, if you're still here, uh, big, quick question. How do you progress? Like, I feel we're, we're on a on a bit of a wall there, you know? Like, these are not getting easier, and we're not getting too many more... Um, too many more heroes that, that would help ups, offset the dangers here, you know? Extra fort capacity... Quarry active, we don't have a quarry yet. Yeah, yeah I understand that, but uh, the quests are getting getting worse and worse, harder and harder, and we're not, I don't think we're not really getting much, all that much stronger in, in relation to that, you know? Maybe it's technologies. Can we get technology? Oh, yes. Research grant, let's go. That's money well spent. I hope. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look at that, yeah? All of the stages we can start, all of these are the first stage. All of them are already level 8. That's pretty high. I think our highest hero is 10. So, obviously, we can go with the slightly less terrible options here, which are, you know, not as hard, but... Mm. Yeah, we can do multiple quests, but that also means multiple dangers. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, try. Try posting a URL. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> ah, see? There it goes. Vid Video Tube Mini. Okay. All right. Let me just go click that random link. <laughs> Without knowing where it leads me. Lightweight, easy to use PNG tuber app. Okay. A quick look here. Okay, the the the, the example image is a little bit horrifying. <laughs> that deer coming out of a, I assume is a cannon. All right, cool. I'll check that out. You have VTuber apps. I mean, could you? Is there a huge difference between a VTuber and a PNG tuber? You guys need to help me there. I'm I'm too old. I understand that VTuber is more of a 3D thing, and a PNG tuber is more a, uh, more a, well, a 2D image basically. Okay, video wrap. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't think I. The party that I would be playing with definitely doesn't have the uh, capacity to to uh, run something that's super intensive in terms of hardware. I'm I'm pretty sure, but then again, we're not going to do it live. It's not going to be live streamed. So if they just send me the audio files, I can all sync it up myself. It's all a bit more work, but eh, you know, if if you do something, might as well learn a bunch of new skills while you're doing it, right? Uh, what do we do? Oh, we have three charges of that. So let's do this and this. Nice. Oh, got a bunch of gold out there. So you can boost this up. We really appreciate 
I mean, can't you use a VTuber app to also do the same thing as a PNG tube? <laughs> but I'm definitely going to check that out. I mean, my uh, avatar, right? Uh, I, I've been thinking about doing something like that anyway with that. So I have been working up the courage to at least on my end turn on the camera, you know, have the face cam up. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of having super important lighting. Like the lighting is working fine. My setup is good, but it's so bright. Yeah, it's true. Use PRP live in stream. Japanese website. All right. Okay. Well, I'm learning so much tonight. That's crazy. Thank you, guys. Absolutely appreciate it. As I was wondering, like, are streams more attractive or do, do you... Are you more inclined to stick around with the stream if you can see the stream or if there's something like a PNG tuber or... A, I don't know if it's like a like a talking PNG or something that that gives you the impression of uh, having more of a connection. Oh, level ten. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll do it. Come on, we're brave. Our civilization wasn't built on cowardice. Let's go. It's any connection? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as I said, I might, I might start uh, turning on the old face cam. Oh. Big hits, big hits. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I get, I get how how it works, uh, Tifa. I had said like. Many, many years ago, there was something called Face Rig. Like, that was one of the first uh, commercial products which was just working out of the box. Uh, that would give you a little... Uh, hamburger Face, for example, is a, is a part of that, uh, I think. And uh, it gives you, like, animals to speak, like, like a raccoon face, stuff like that. And I even animated, like, on my, on my banner, the, the flag with a little imp face and the crown on top of it. I... Um, I animated that in Adobe Animate and and rigged it up so it would work uh, as a as a speaking thing. Um, sadly, I did that so many years ago that uh, the files that I used for are kind of useless now. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> uh, but I have tinkered with this before. I have tinkered with this. You found part two. Nice. Discord reactive images dot fugi dot tech. I swear. The internet is a magical place. Okay. What does that do? Reactive. Allows it to easily visualize a Discord voice call in OBS with a single browser source. It's like Discord Stream Kit, but more customizable and easier to use. Okay. I'll have to check that out later as well. I'll just keep all these up and I hope I don't lose them, but I can probably come back to this. Ah. ah, that would be really good. That would be very helpful. Ah, oh, that's that's fantastic. We'll have to try that. If it saves me editing time, I'm all for it. Okay, I need to create a new... Uh, oh, God. Yeah, nice. That sounds good. Okay, oh, boy. Uh, let's, let's take care of this real quick. Huh. Okay, our archers are not to be trifled with. Oh boy, let's go here. Just have to. <laughs> I'll absolutely pitch it to the group. I, I think they they'd all be interested in doing that. And they prefer Discord anyway. Like I I force them to uh, use Signal for our regular sessions because I just. Honestly, I've been working in data uh, protection, data privacy, and IT for far, far, far too long to uh, trust any any free service. 
Like, I fully understand that everything I upload to Twitch and to YouTube is going to be used to AI, improve, learn, whatever. They're going to use that uh, for eternity. But I have made my peace with that. That's fine. Like, that's my legacy in this world. Old, old videos of me talking about how to play Crusader Kings 2 and 3. <laughs> that's what I'm leaving behind when I'm gone. Uh, I, I will try and thank the gay bear girl for that. So, we have built a little bit of space for these vagabonds that are coming in. So now we can attack the last stage, or rather talk the last stage with these people. Um, let's go build more houses. Oh, 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 the button's burning. Slowly but surely the button's burning. Reactive allows you to easily visualize a Discord on a single browser source. All right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, at the risk of sounding very European, what what's a CVP? I I don't know that word. Oh no 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 no. Ah, uh, we gotta stop killing people. <laughs> Corporate Vice President. Ah, right, okay, thanks. What do we get? A hero. Uh, we definitely need to. What gives us more food? I mean, the granary upgrade won't give us more food, I don't think. Where's more food? Nowhere. Oh god, we're, we're doomed. Uh, Jesus. Okay, are we going back to killing people? I think so. Well, we're getting more people anyway soon. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Okay, we need to turn this off. <laughs> Risk the crisis. And let's check our hero. Oh, level 11. Crazy. Increases uprising chance by 15% if he's active. Ability off. Plus 25 of everything, basically, except for food. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm fine with this man. Working in our best interests. I'm a little bit scared right now. We have a lot of space here. That increases our fire risk quite a bit. But there are people coming. So I'm thinking I'll I'll start with webcam on the next Crusader Kings playthrough. Uh, that that's my idea at the moment because like I don't want to. Upload and suddenly in the middle of the current ongoing series have have my face just there. <laughs> I don't want to shock anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, accessibility is a big thing. Like I saw uh I saw a, a plugin that can like do real time subtitles, even in different languages for OBS. Like it's crazy how, how much is possible these days. You know, I'm really quite impressed. Okay, we need to turn this thing around here. Oh God, convert to village. So now we go to another worker, but we need to get more food. So we'll have to fight another Bavarian, Bavarian village, uh, Bavarian village. We need more food income. Our workers are helping, but they're not helping enough. Still losing people potentially. So we have to go on the offensive. Honestly, let's go on the offensive with two of these. We need more fields. We need more food. I think we can manage. <clears throat> like accessibility is is I think very important. 
But of course, it's a lot of extra work potentially. I'm still mulling over how the how the, how it's going to work technically. Like, does everyone just do a individual audio recording and then I kind of try and mash it together? But uh, we'll see. It, it's going to do a few test runs. It, it's a way away still until we start with that. It, it's going to be some time, but it's definitely quite dominant on my mind. I'm thinking a lot about how that's going to work. Okay, what do we not need at the moment? I mean, we kind of need everything, but... Almost done with the research here. Yeah? Uh, Fusion Warrior, what else do you play? <laughs> what else would you be interested in? Like, I'm, I'm looking at Titan Quest 2 when it releases. Probably going to want to play that. Uh, I'm doing Dungeons 4 as well. Did, did, you, did you watch that? On the channel? Did Yeah. And then line it up, then kick the audio of my recording. Yeah, okay, that, that might work. That might work. Okay. Like Dungeons 4 is like this is this is the closest to uh, Dungeon Keeper that I've played in a long long while and I've played them all uh because I always wanted something that is quite like Dungeon Keeper again um and they never really are sadly because all of them kept the silly 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 thing from Dungeon Keeper 2 where your units are a little bit stunned after dropping them uh, I never liked that I get it Balancing is important. <laughs> uh, oh, let's throw one of these in there. Help with the granary. Make it better. So we can have more archers. Archipelago randomizers. Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Go, and SMZ3. I don't know what an SMZ3 is. But I'm willing to learn most of the time. Not all the time, but some of the time. People are starving. Yeah, yeah. Super Metroid Zelda 3. Okay. So the randomizer does what? Randomizes the level layout for these games? <laughs> Items, okay. Ah, oh, that's good. That's something that annoyed me a little bit with Baldur's Gate 3. As 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 great as the game is, no no uh, no question there. But it feels like you always get the same stuff in the same places. I find that a little bit sad for playthroughs. Okay. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Man, there's so much stuff out there I have no clue about. Huh. See, I think that's that's why I'm so, so, so drawn to Crusader Kings. Because while, yes, there are certain times where certain things are likely to happen, um, the chances... The chances of a gameplay, of, of a playthrough feeling the exact same as the one before are, are basically zero. In my opinion. So, I really like that a lot. Really, really like that a lot. Yeah, the RP element is great. Crusader Kings has ruined me for other games. It is true. That is just how it is. Like I, could, I can't play anything else with similar enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I played a lot of Stellaris. I played a lot of Humanity, which was pretty decent. I played a lot of Civilization, but... 
they all fall flat and short on the diploma, uh, diplomacy side. Every single one of them always fails there, which I think is a big shame. Uh, we should probably buy us some food here so people stop starving. <laughs> And it's the cheapest commodity, which is kind of weird. I don't think that's true, but there you go. Get the archers in. Man, this game is also really good. Like, if 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 I want to do something where, where I don't have to think so much, Crusader Kings does require a lot of brain power active. But this, this is just right for more of a lazy evening. It's, it's quite complex, but it's just nearly nowhere as problematic, I'd say, as some other games. Okay, are we good now? No, we're not good. <laughs> Get some more barley shipments in here, please. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You got eaten as an immortal African who took over the world in Crusader Kings 2. Nice. Yeah, them's the stories, right? Oh, level 11. Nice. He'll do just fine. Plus one soldier capacity. Plus 1.2 clicks per second. Okay. All right. Let's see, and we got another one, level eight, level 10, this guy. Okay, no, these, these aren't great. So do we just get clicks now? Yep, 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 yep. Or are we just getting this? Ah. Come on, barbarians. Come at us. Okay, that was waste. That was a waste of a archer there, right there. Man, we can have seven of them now. I really like the demo, but this is even better. And this is only early access. It's a great game. Really fun. I'm having a good time. You guys having a good time? I hope so. I know it's not Crusader Kings, but uh, there you go. Ah, you became Pope in CK2, made it your primary title, and then the game was over. Yep, yep, yep. That's something I'm kind of sad about, that they never implemented that you can play a theocracy. Really would have liked that. Really, really would have liked that. That would have been fun. Okay. Ah, yeah, let's build a quarry. I think that's a good idea. Huh. Interesting. CK2 is Crusader Kings 2. Which is a grand strategy 4x game. Which has about a million DLCs. So please never ever consider this unless it's on sale. Ever. <laughs> You're gonna be poor. All right, let's see. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. So these are not as bad as I thought they would be. I I, I was way more afraid of these than, than I needed to have been. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I'd say if, you're, if your computer can handle it, go with Crusader Kings 3. There's less DLC yet. Uh, so far at the moment. And I don't know. I, I, by now I prefer it. Then again, I haven't played the second one for a long, long time. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe the second is still much better. <sighs> oh, no, I'm hearing chat coming in, but I can't see anything anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> no ODFC CK2 support so trust start. Okay. Um I don't think I'm going back to Crusader Kings 2. Quite honest there. I don't think I'm gonna play that. <laughs> okay. Sounds sounds annoying and exhausting. No, I mainly meant uh, for upcoming games or different games, you know. What else would you listen me play, listen to me play, or watch me play, rather? Oh, we got the horseman. Yeah, Star Trek Infinite was a letdown. Such a shame. Taxes per worker, maybe. A library, what does that do? Does it give us research? I see some yeast. Let's go for the yeast. We need yeast. Oh, horseman. Costs a lot of iron. Holy heck. Build our stone walls first. Get a horseman. Yeah. I mean, you can try the base game, but um, honestly, you don't need the DLC. There, there are some that are. Oh, you know, you need to have that. Personally, I don't think so. Uh, you can, you can enjoy the game without the DLC pretty, pretty well. <laughs> well if you don't want it, it's also fine. No worries. I mean, honestly, with Crusader Kings three. I'm simple. I just pick a new spot on the map and I play it again. Like I don't I don't feel the need for modding or anything. It's every every ruler is their own journey again. So it's just I haven't really gotten bored. Oh, but we're not attacking. Wait, are we attacking the stones? Okay, we're attacking the stones apparently. I think I made a mistake here. I wanted to attack these, but I then switched over to that. Ah, well, fine. <laughs> I actually am into Fallout to a degree. Um, I did play through Fallout 4 once. Well, that's my thing. Like, I can't replay those games. Uh, I tried. I think Oblivion is the only one that I played more than once. But once I'm through with the uh, with the Bethesda games, like I'm, I'm kind of done. Starfield had me. Not gonna lie, Starfield had me a little bit. Oh, they do? Nice! Barbarians defeated. Let's go right after them again. Because we are silly. And let's get some archers. I'm so happy that you keep the progress on what you're doing, you know. That is very fun and very good. Stonewall can also help with that. I mean, maybe with the randomizer, but honestly, I mean, Fallout 4 has been such a long time ago. I don't remember it. I might be able to play that again. Um, I think I only remember a few key moments. So it's probably fine. <laughs> Coming in with all the links. Super helpful. Thank you so much. Uh, burning. Got to be careful here. But I want that horse. Give me that horse. I want my knights. Uh, what do you guys think about Age of Empires 4? Because I've been playing that a while and I'm quite enjoying it. I'm not. I'm not really good at it. Like I, can, I can't even beat hardest AI. But I think it's a very good and very well made game. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm stalking. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I hear you. Uh, oh boy. Uh, oh, 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 uh. uh oh. 
Okay, okay. But we do need the horse now. Look at this. We're in dire need of a horse. Quick! <laughs> oh boy. Nice. We did it. And then we got a quarry out of it. Very good. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted more archers. I thought we had less walls left. Okay, uh, I should, I should, oh god, we need food again. Ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, now let's go attack these guys. Because that was what I was originally trying to do, but I then I kind of forgot. <laughs> oh, finally, we got a really good one here. So, oh, lots of damage, lots of damage. The rest isn't as great as uh, who we had there, but it's it's fair enough. Look at us getting stronger. And I was worried we wouldn't. It's crazy. Rise of Rome. I don't even... I don't think I ever played that. Is that uh add-on for Age of Empires 2? Don't... I don't... I ain't sure. Throw some food in it. So yeast helped a little bit, but not much. Let's go into bronze. Games pause. Researching a revolutionary science creates a risk of social crisis. Yeah, okay, well. What can you do? Turn on effect. Turn on cost. We don't have any of that, so we can't really spend it. All right. AoE 1 expansion? Alright. Let's go. Should have another horse. Ready for the crisis, you know. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Ah! Okay. Let's wall everything and now let's throw everything we have at them. Ah, uh, that wasn't a lot. Let's build more things to throw at them. There we go. Well done, us. <laughs> so now we get another farm. Nice. So our food crisis is finally done. Ah, this guy isn't better than what we got. Should probably convert these eventually. Uh, okay, we now have free space. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, give me... Ah, right, that's fine. I'll throw some of these at that. And we'll build us some abodes now. It's a very interesting balancing act in this. I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is really fun. Nice little brain teaser. You can talk well with it in the background. You can still do things. You can kind of feel... Amazing about the things that you do accomplish or don't accomplish, you know? It's really interesting. I could get more wood. Do we need more wood? More soldiers, I think. But we already have goats. Could get a barbarian tile, meaning another field, but I think fields are fine right now. Let's get another worker here. Okay, uh, let's check if we can't convert some of these lads here. So, rare, rare. Do we have four rares? I don't think so. No, we do not. Let's get some elites in there then. Ah. Right, it doesn't cost gold anymore. It costs other resources, so. Can't really do that. Single common hero of any color. These are locked. How do we unlock them? Do you know, Tifa? Tifa? 
is it is it like technology maybe let's work on the horsey again that really helped us last time oh Let's go. Ah. By the way, uh, I, I I don't think, I'm, I don't know if that's okay to ask, but if you guys want to help me at all with this, because it is, it is quite motivating to have people in chat, to have people comment on the videos and whatnot, do that. <laughs> Just, if you can come around, otherwise comment on the YouTube or Hell, even share it around because I'm super, super, super bad at self-promotion. I have no idea what I'm doing that. I feel so bad coming up to people and like, hey, look at what I made. You know, even if I'm not too like worried about it, where I even think, okay, well, there's, there's something to this. This isn't the worst thing I ever did. Uh, but it still feels so weird to me to be like, hey, guys, come check out me. Check out I. You know what I mean? It's just... Feels a little bit odd to me to do that. <laughs> Man. Yeah, the internet on fire is, um, yep, that's probably still a bit of an understatement. <laughs> Good God. I am quite happy on Mastodon, quite honestly. Um, like, Reddit broke apart for me. I'm no longer on Reddit. Uh, like I'm, I'm over on Lemmy World. Or Cabin Social, depending. You know, that's, that's pretty decent. You, you still get pretty much the same stuff there. But it's not as corporate-y. And Mastodon, honestly, I, I never gotten Twitter off for me. I don't know. I wouldn't say that. Like, the crazy thing is, um, Mastodon is a Twitter thing, yeah? But I can post on Mastodon and, and just at my uh, lemmy.world instance, like my, my community that I made there, and my Mastodon post shows up as a post in the lemmy, and people from Kbin, from Lemmy, from all these instances, they can interact with that post without even having a Mastodon account. I think that's really crazy. Like, that, that that's basically as if you could uh, post from X to Reddit and, and vice versa. Like, And it just works. I mean, it doesn't just work. There's a lot of stuff going on there, right? But um, it's really, really good. I, I don't think it's... It's a problem of centralization i think the problem is more uh of people not going there <laughs> because it's uh, it's not where all the cool people are we you know it's not where all the rich people and the famous people are and i think that's where people are kind of drawn to you know they want to they want to follow these people they want to and immerse themselves in drama and stuff so gain nothing 540 houses for three archers. What am I going to do with 540 houses? Burn down. I think we'll do the... We'll, we'll take the war crisis. Oh. Okay. Ah! Oh god, ouch. Quickly. Jesus. I think I'm overusing the shields. I think I'm, I'm doing that wrong. I need to be a little bit more careful with how I use the shields. Feels like. Yeah, but I think word of mouth is, is really the way to go. I have no idea. Like, there's, there's creators out there, right? They, they set up, they have one video, and suddenly they have two million subscribers. <laughs> I never understand how these things happen. Like, it just looks like dark magic to me. No clue how that happens. How that can even happen, you know, is completely beyond me. Throw in some more research, some more uh, barley. 
let's get going on all these things. Yeah, yeah, I mean, since there's no algorithm, uh, sure, you don't get any success, uh, suggestion. Ooh, level 13. Oh. But... Uh, actually, he's not that bad. He's, he's actually not that bad. For being a common, it's not bad. Take that. Um, Since you can follow hashtags on Mastodon, for example, you have I think you have a much greater control over what you're going to see. But you do have to keep expanding it manually. And I think that's something that people really don't want to do. <laughs> Spend the time and deciding what they see. Like, my Mastodon feed is entirely TTRPG, uh, real-time strategy stuff, gaming. I think I can still build this out uh, much more than I'm currently doing. And I'm super happy about that. You know, that's just... That just really works for me. Let's see, will this work or do we have to use another archer? <laughs> I mean, hey, why not? Why not? I mean, that's something I really uh, appreciate about uh, Mastodon as well, the, the inclusivity of it. It feels like people are willing to be themselves there. Much more so than elsewhere. It, it feels like it's much more of a safer space and... and I think that's super important to have. So that's pretty cool. I mean, X being led by a very outspoken phobe of all types is, uh, you know, that's kind of insane. Who'd, who'd want to go there? It's crazy. Horrible, horrible person. That man. So, we have lost 4,100 people so far. Oh boy. <laughs> there was this ominous message uh, in, in the game at some point. Where it was like, the gods are going to remember this one. <laughs> oh no. The gods? Not the gods. If they're like any... What I do with my gods and my D&D &D campaigns, they're going to be really bad about this. But I'm thinking I'm slowly getting a handle on all this. Slowly but surely getting a handle on this. Barracks. So now we can upgrade the windmill. Or do we go with the alphabet? I feel like this increases stuff. Cottage. Huh. Mathematics. I want to explore all these right now. Why do I have to wait? I need instant gratification. Come on now, game. Uh, let's upgrade the fort, though. And throw some of our stone against it. Oh, dilemma card. I like the dilemma card that is cost-free and just something good for a time. So we'll go with that extra uh, research speed. I'll take that happily. See, the game heard me. It's like, yeah, 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 fine. Here, have something for free to get you closer to your goal. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. By the way, are we, are we linked up on, uh, on Mastodon? If you're on there as well. If so, you can just send me a DM there. You don't have to say who you are on Mastodon, not in Twitch. It's fine. Ah, amazing. Cool. I'll, I'll be sure to follow you back later. Once we're done here. Once we've seen how far we can bring our micro-civilization. Oh, look, we, we, got a, we got a temple now. Because we upgraded that thing. That's the Acropolis. We have six armor thing now. 
Yeah, I must say I'm pretty lucky with Emperor there as well. Uh, Twitch is literally the only place where I had to go Emperor the first. Well, that's okay as well. <laughs> oh, we might be the same age or similar age. I might be older than you, quite honestly. I was there when Web 1 was a thing. <laughs> Granted as a child, but still. Okay, now we're going to go for the alphabet. Our people need to read... Or something similar, anyway. Bump. Barbarians at the gate. Let's pump this. Because we know we're going to need it in a moment. So we put this up. And then we start shooting. Anyway. I started blasting. Ooh. Okay. So we could throw in our horse. See, the militia blocked something this time. Nice. We done did it. So that means another field for us. More farmland. More food. Good stuff. That's what we want here. Out, boy. Own three farmlands. Farmer one. Nice. Okay. Okay. I remember uh, going to my best friend's house. And we would play on his Atari. Cool times. And lugging around the old CRT monitors for LAN parties. Playing Heroes of Might and Magic. <laughs> Yeah, so many games I just didn't understand, right? It was just, what the heck is that? What is any of this? Let's upgrade our archers to phalanx. Look at how cool this looks. I'm so impressed. This is such a cool game, man. I always feel like I want to reach out to these developers and be like, Hey, I am promoting your stuff. Look at that. Let me know what you think. I always kind of want to do that, but... Then I never do. Again, shit at self-promotion. Do I want to lose the food? Oh, no, actually, we, we improved the food highly, heavily. So we're definitely going to do that. More food, yes. Grow, you people. Uh, let's... Oh, plus 50% per second. And other workers minus 20%. Nice. Let's build that library, shall we? At Larn. I don't know what Larn is. Never heard of that. Free. 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 We take free. So I think we need more stone. Let's build another quarry. Nineteen eighty-six roguelike. <laughs> God. Okay. I very fondly remember on the NES uh, some some sort of Star Wars side scroller jump and run thing that I was never any good at but I enjoyed it still. Oh my god, okay. You know what my favorite DOS game was or my favorite DOS games though Warcraft 1, Orcs and Humans and Warcraft 2: Tides of Darkness. That's where it's at. That that was my biggest influence. That's why when like when I was a kid and I was walking home in the evening and it was dark out and it was spooky. Uh, after playing Warcraft 2 over at my friend's house. I would always think, okay, what would it be like as a human knight to suddenly stand in front of like a like a huge orc warrior? You know, that's just, that's just crazy. It's scary, and that's what I would imagine. And then World of Warcraft game. I absolutely... I think not a lot of people get to live their childhood dreams, but I got to. Stepping into World of Warcraft. Getting to feel this feeling that I wanted to feel, and it was, in the early days, it was like that, you know? There was a horde dude over the hill, and I was, like, fucking scared. I didn't want to approach them. I was scared out of my mind. 
um, because of the images I conjured up and even the Warcraft movie, I must say. Sorry, super weird tangent right now, but there you go. That's what you get. Um, the Warcraft movie even has a special place in my heart because there's what, this one combat scene where one orc just picks up the horse of the knight, just the entire horse, and, and, and throws the horse against the knight. And that's basically how I always imagine orcs are in terms of physical power and, and uh, dominance and everything. So, man, I'm so sad that they never did or likely aren't going to make a second one. Um, so it's just, I don't know. That's what I always thought. That was so cool. Oh yeah, GTA was also really cool. <laughs> the original Mario movie? Nice. I don't even think I ever... <gasps> we got a windmill! With windmill blades. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. That is so cool. Okay, let's just build the houses maybe because food-wise, we're not bad, but we're also not great. Let's get some more people in here. Oh, God. Ah, yeah, that's not bad. That's fine. Sell some wood. And what do we get now? A cottage. 97 housing. Okay. Right, let's uh, let's continue on blacksmith. What does that do? A theater. Sustainment plus 25%. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. No, not even asking a question there. That's what we want to do. Let's help with the cottage. Oh wow, okay, that was a lot of cottages all, of, all at once. Sell some stone. I'm so sad about what Blizzard did to itself. It's such a shame what, where that company went. To the point where I'm almost even like cheering for, uh, for Microsoft of all companies after the takeover that they might turn that ship around, you know? Microsoft might be the saving grace to Blizzard, which is um, a depressing thought, to say the least. Absolutely depressing. <laughs> let's build some more housing here. And let's get a phalanx out there. I like that they're still costing wood. They could have changed that. They didn't. It's still wood. Phalanx, wood. Soldier, wood. It's good stuff. A world conquest. In my non-min-max playstyle. A paradox-wide multi-campaign. So, uh, starting in Crusader Kings and then going over to Europa Universalis 4, you mean? Or just within Crusader Kings? Oh my god. Uh, so, Imperata, big disappointment when that came out. Big, big disappointment. I'm mad at them for that one. Um, oh, we have all the vagabonds. Oops, I forgot. Ah, that's fine. Though. They'll they'll slowly migrate in here. Um, I did a world conquest in Crusader Kings two once, or twice. Uh, so it's doable. I don't I don't need a multi campaign for that. Yeah, Imperator they just abandoned. But maybe honestly, maybe it was for the best. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure they could have even turned it around. So, uh. Okay, we'll replace this guy with this guy. He's definitely better. Lower level, but better. Ooh, 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 ooh. A new worker. Let's go. Let's go here. And also, let's fight for more farmland. Our civilization needs to grow. So, yeah. Honestly, I only really like uh, Europa Universalis and Crusader Kings. Europa Universalis has a little bit too much of a clear path of what's going to happen. And, and, and this is how you should play, you know. Like, if you start in England, you need to be prepared to uh, deal with the War of the Roses. 
and you will have to do certain things for that stuff like that and I just uh, never felt right to me I like emergent gameplay more than okay this is or might going to happen you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, haven't, I have not once not once min maxed in any of these games not a single time um so it just kind of happened once or twice that I played. I don't even like to go for World Conquest. Like it's just kind of snowballed and nothing could stop me anymore. So I just kind of did it. It's fun enough for certain achievements, but... Eh. I don't even try to get achievements. <laughs> yeah, let's get the sustainment now. And we can build the blacksmith. Which gives us... Oh! Metal. Which is, of course, something we want. So let's... Okay, can work. does this work? We can boost this, which should, in turn, boost everything else. I think. Sunset Kingdom for CK3. <laughs> okay, I'm going to out myself to you now. Sunset Kingdom is the one DLC I always turned off on Crusader Kings 2. Because... <laughs> I beat it a few times, and I just never thought it was all that interesting. Um, and it was kind of just plain too weird for me. Which is saying a lot, because I didn't mind the werewolves and all the immortality and, and the vampirism and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, uh, sell some food, get some houses... Uh, well, let's go for cottage. Bam. There we go. Helped it. I mean, for me... For me, I'd rather um, have the Black Death again. That I always enjoyed. Because you had the High Middle Ages, kind of. Uh, where everyone was already kind of built. And everyone was kind of big. And, and uh, the borders were preset. And nothing much was moving anymore. And then the Black Death just rolled over everyone. And you could just see all these kingdoms around you crumble. And, and you locked yourself in your castle and just prayed that maybe this time not every one of your family dies as well. Um, so I always really enjoyed that. I, I hope they introduce something like that again. That was really cool. I mean, you have no chance to stop it. You, you can try and build hospitals, but they just don't do nearly enough uh, to actually stop anything. Uh, plus, they're so prohibitively expensive that they are just kind of not really worth it at all. I think. So... Uh, okay, we're, we're, we're growing super quick here. We need way more space. Look how quickly that goes away. It's crazy. How? Just plus 50 all the time. Wall. Phalanx. Oh, okay. That wall was... Oh, wait. Two crises all at once. What the heck? Okay, will we be able to, uh, to ascend tonight? That's a big question on my mind. I think we might. You ran tests around yourself on Maxwell Hospital and it just gets you after everyone else secured again. I mean, I've survived the Black Death a, a bunch of times and I always felt like that was really great. Like, that always felt like an accomplishment, sort of. You know? Like, you actually did something. I got a sense of pride and accomplishment that EA never could give me. No matter how hard they tried. Failures of a company. Okay, we're working on Ascension now. So there's definitely some crisis coming our way. I don't know if we need anything in particular to prepare for it. Uh, we don't need this anymore. So let's build more on the amphitheater. Amphitheater, not amphi... Oh, God. Boy, howdy. It's getting late. Sp Speech impediments are starting to set in. <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. I hear you. 
Oh god, I, I completely misused this one. Okay, we need more. We need more everything. Um, <laughs> also misused that one. Well done, me. I'm really, I'm really on fire right now. The Great Slave Revolt. Let's see how great those slaves are once we're done with them. So let's let's the shield do their thing for 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 once. For once, I'm not gonna use the, everything and then waste the shields that we put up. This one time. Question is, will the shields be enough? I don't know. How much damage will that deal? Okay, this was blocked by militia. Oh, my click finger. I could turn this on. Help a little bit. You know. Blocked by militia again. Okay, let's just... Let's just end this. Oh, a rare hero better. Oh, look at that. Look at that lad. Extra everything. Crazy. And we can ascend. We're doing it. But I kind of want to end this as well. It, it doesn't really help us, but... Well, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does. It, it gets tallied. But I want to ascend tonight. Uh, so that's what the last thing we're going to do today. Let's go. Alright, okay, let's see. Um, one wall, one phalanx, and another phalanx. And there we go. So the heroes, they travel with us, basically. Yes, the windmill still stands. That is indeed the most important part of all of this, I agree. Where would we be without our windmill or Stonehenge, which is kind of hidden here? Let's go, let's ascend. Ascend and reset. Let's go. Let's see how far we made it. Oh, so close. All these upgrade points. Nice. I really like the music too. All right, tech trees. Love them, Mohayden. Okay, increase wood generation per second by one. Okay. Extra worker for five. Unlock medieval era. Let's do that, of course. We definitely want to unlock the medieval era. Okay, the renaissance era. Okay, if we unlock nothing on the sides, we can speed this as well. We can go real fast, real far. Um... But I, I want to take it slow. I, I'm in not, not in any rush. Not in any rush. Increase starting gold. It's probably a sensible thing to have. Um, Let's go with wood grants. They don't sound all that powerful, but early on it, it speeds up the game. And I, I appreciate games that acknowledge that early game can be a little bit slow. Okay, let's increase the research speed here. Ah, there we go. That's how you uh, upgrade the the recipes. All right. Okay. Okay. Got it now. So let's get the extra worker. What's this? Death reduced by 5%. Oh, okay. But we don't have this extra type flower. Increase stone generation by 1 per second. Also not bad. Also not bad. Um, extra wood per click. Unlocks the black lotuses when ascending. I think we need to work through that eventually. So let's... Ah, we can't buy that anymore. We don't have enough. So let's use our last four points to unlock these two here. I'd say this and that. So now we're pretty decently settled uh, for our next start. 
New game type. Hey, popcorn, welcome. Uh, you're you're at the tail end, sadly. Like I'm getting ready to turn in, but I think maybe another half hour we could do. Uh, micro civilization. I got a video on the demo from the Steam Next Fest out on the channel, but um, I think I'm gonna upload this vod as well over to YouTube. Um, for now, it's basically 2D civilization, sort of. It's really fun, and it's nice to talk behind. Like it, it's a good game to have in the background. So we start with this one little lad. And we start with two workers because we're cool like that. We upgraded that kind of stuff, you know? So now we need to get some workers going until they're like, eh, we want to live in a place. So let's research some huts here. And let's get them a hut before we build Stonehenge. Ah! So now they have a hut. Very good. Now let's build Stonehenge. Important stuff. We don't want to miss out on that. There we go. Stonehenge just built. Now we got it. Let's work our way through. Oh man, there's so much to unlock now. I mean, there was already so much to unlock before, but there's so much more to unlock now. Did I just deselect this like a dunce? I did. Darn. All right, let's see. Um, we are... I mean, everything is working fine. Nothing needs my immediate attention. We have a good balance here. I mean, we could use more food, I think. We're producing more huts than food. Let's go do that. The music is cool. Okay, now we have more people than houses. No, more houses than people still. Oh, man. Yeah, let's stop the construction here. Spearman, and we reach 20. So we get some research. No, I don't want to build more houses. People need to grow. Let's auto-click this. Wait, does the auto-click click on food? I don't think it does. Ah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm using Mix It Up, it's called. Uh, the, the posting of that is automatic. I just let it post under my name. I'm not doing that. It, it posts it, like, once every hour or something. Like, you guys, you need to help me get to affiliate, you know? Uh, we, we need, I think, 50, 50 followers and an average of uh, three viewers per stream for a while. <laughs> because then I can, I can uh, designate VIPs. And all you guys are shoe-ins for the VIP. You can rest assured. The second we can do that, I'm going to dish out some VIP stuff. Oh, we got a new hero. Let's see. Is it is it a good one? No, it isn't. <laughs> it's a horrible one. Um, okay, so we attack the mammoth because attacking the mammoth is kind of part of our rites of passage in the Neolithic. Uh, let's get some spearmen going. I have a I'm not super, super well versed on all the things that you can do with these bots and stuff, but... I don't think I need all that much more. Maybe it's a little bit too much for that message. I don't know. I'm I'm super happy to take feedback. If you guys have, have any input. Absolutely, let me hear it. Let's build a saw blade. Honestly, uh let's go fight some barbarians as well. And let's talk to these people. Let's just let's just get going here. It's probably gonna kill us, but Right now, I'm I'm convinced we can deal with everything. Plus, with the ascension perks, it just kind of feels nice. Getting places. Now we'll build this. 
And we get ourselves a forest start up. Man, how, see how quickly this builds. It's crazy. Took forever before. These are kind of slow, though. I feel like there could be something that speeds that up, but maybe there is. I just don't know. Uh, let's increase... Sustainment. I always go with the sustainment first. I feel that's a good idea. Get more out of what we have. Okay. Got the houses going. Let's build a hill fort. Maybe we can use the auto-click. Yeah, okay. It highlights. So you can see where the auto-click comes in. And it's only the bottom resource. I like that you can even auto fight. I like that for for people that are easily overwhelmed, like myself at times. Yeah, that works. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, we have, we have, ah, this guy. Still can't afford upgrading. I don't even know what these are. Stability culture. Okay. Endurance culture. I don't know how we get those. Can we? Yet? Oh, thanks so much for the follow. I totally appreciate it. Welcome. <clears throat> Helping us push toward that affiliate status so I can make all your guys VIPs. First 50 followers, all of them VIP, absolutely. Look at that spear. Bam. Militia, done. Fixed. Defeat the mammoth. Done. We are true Neolithians. <laughs> okay, I want the windmill. It's a little bit more important than everything else. Let's get the spearman going. And... Okay, do we turn this down? I think we'll tear this down. I want the wood. Let's go for more mammoth. And more heroes that are kind of useless. Uh, let's sort by level. These are just pages I figured out. Rarity. Okay, so golden stuff is highest. All right, okay. But level is more important than rarity for sure. For sure. So nice and comfy. We don't know anything about the bad world yet. There it comes, knocking on our door, but we got it under control, we sure do. I think we need the hill fort soon, so we have more people to defend us. So we talk to them and we attack these guys. So we'll keep doing that, we got another hero, so throw these out. And I wanted the pottery, so we have more soldiers. I'm very inconsistent, as you can tell. First I want the mill, now I want the pottery. Uh, scared pottery. Let's go breed some more people while we wait for our pottery to finish up. And maybe we also trade. Nah. Can't afford anything I want, like, uh, research would be nice. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good so far. Done. And now we can go for the pickaxe. So we can get the millstone. And now we build the dry storage. Laying the foundation for the windmill. The important bit. I'm really looking forward to the medieval stage. I'm curious to see how that works. Or how that looks, rather. Nice. Let's fill that up with more spearmen. So now we can have four pickaxe. All done. Warrior code. Now we go for the windmill directly and then for breeding after. So we get our sustainment. Let's have some houses. Got to be careful with the clicks, though. We're getting into danger territory. They're already starting to glow red. It's going to start burning in a moment. 
Uh, we don't want that. Is there even more quests we can start? No, we are working on all the quests that we can. So now that I have a bit of a feeling for this game, I think uh, we're going to get quicker through the early ages. Not just because we are properly equipped, but also because I'm just not quite as scared anymore. <laughs> Took out the mammoth. And we'll attack it right away again. It's no problem for us. See how we dealt with that? Two clicks. All solved. All the problems in this Neolithic society solved. With two spearmen. Fighting the mammoth. And now the barbarians are coming. So this will happen just again. Done. Gold, finally. Okay, extra gold per... Um, I don't want to take the hit to food production, so we'll take just the extra gold for free-ish. And we'll go fight these guys more. But just also part of our quest, so... Uh, once we fought them, we get 20 extra due to a field, but only if we have the mill, which we can now do. Let's get also on the barracks, maybe. So we can have more hill forts. And let's build the windmill. Lots of clicking, lots of... Honestly. Let's help. Let's get on with it. I'm not sure if I like or not like that there is no resource pool into which everything kind of flows, you know? I'm not quite sure. Like, we're producing iron the whole time, but it goes nowhere, so it's not saved by that. I am not certain if I don't like that. If I do or don't like that. I really don't quite know. Let's use this, because it's full up anyway. Very good. Now we can build more hill forts. I wonder, do you think they had music composed for this game specifically, or did they buy this? Just... I always wonder with these smaller games, like, how do, how do they do that? How much does it cost to get a composer going? Or did they do it themselves even, you know? That would be even more insane, I think. All right. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vengeful mammoth. Eh? Yeah, come at us. We'll take care of yeah? you. Spearman, let's throw some wood at that. You think you can get open source music that is this good? For fully free? I mean, maybe. That would be pretty darn cool. Are we already at the end of the Neolithic? Yeah, 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 we're almost done. That was real quick now. That's cool. Like, we don't need houses right now. Okay, well, now we need houses again. <laughs> the food was a little bit too much. Okay, we'll do one wall and the rest... Okay, well, fine. Didn't even need the wall. We had the archer upgrade before. I will take just the food for free. I don't even want to bother with everything else. So let's go on these quests. Figure this out. Conquer our surrounding area. Like true hunter-gatherers. Finish eight quests complete. Thanks. We'll take it. Boost to research. Let's research the market. Let's get another hill fort going. So we're full up again. We're producing some vagabonds right now, but that's okay. It's not yet a problem. And we're going to build the huts way over what we need anyway. Just now. A new hero has arrived. What does that mean? Stability culture. Used to merge... What? 
Oh my good god. Alright, okay. Please don't make any jokes or anything. <laughs> I just figured this out. Uh, what's this though? Adaptiveness culture. I don't think we have seen that yet. Okay, so now I should be able and allowed to do this, yeah? One random elite hero. Nice. I mean, he's not better than what we got, but okay. Alright, okay, 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 okay. I got it. Figured it out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> very good, very good. So you can just destroy these, and uh, then you can go on. Oh, by the way, thanks for the follow. I just I didn't notice that one. Appreciate it. Right. Okay. Uh, we got the we got the we got the breeding done. Okay. Let's let's start in our crisis of uh, development of leaving the Neolithic era. Let's build the marketplace real quick. I think we can afford it. We are earning enough food to be able to have one less work on it, and we're working on a bunch of uh, options here that's going to increase our food production anyway by a good margin. Okay, so that's still fine. It's all good. Right now we're just kind of waiting. Uh, so we're going to speed up. 200%. There is no controls in the interface. You have to do it with a plus minus key on the numpad. I'm not sure if plus minus generally works, but that definitely does. Okay. I'll do it like that. Neolithic revolution. Done. Level 8 hero. Alright, nice. Okay, very good. So now we get plus 0 0.02 uh, gold per worker. And we can work on the mud brig to get ourselves some abodes ready. Our quests are running through. Definitely need archers. We are low on those right now. I'll help a little bit. Honestly, we're going to turn this on. And help with it even more. I'm afraid if we don't have enough archers. Archers are my... Safety, security blanket, you know. That's the people that keep me safe at night. Where would I be without, without our archers? Okay, just for safety, I'm going to turn on one wall because... Rugby team of Johnson. Okay, militia blocked it again. I really like the animation though of these. They are so cute. Mammoth were one of my favorite things as a child, you know. I didn't know anything about much, but I knew that Mammoth were really cool. Oh, okay. I was a little bit too amazed there. So now we invited another problem in at the same time. Let's see. Maybe I overdid it. Especially since there's more combat coming after this one. Oh no. That's actually it. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so much to do now. Um, let's see. What would we need? Let's get the wheat. Get all this. Uh, a war crisis starts. No. We'll take the extra risk for a few minutes. And let's upgrade all these things that we just liberated. A village. Some wood. And some fields. And now we got... Um, should we turn these into barbarians? I mean, we have a lot of uh, villages around and not a lot of barbarians. So I think we'll turn these into barbarians. And uh, we're going to work on some food here. And we're going to work on some more workers over there. That's what we're going to do. Not to overdo it, because right now we are close to a crisis. And we are not super well equipped. Like, we need more bows. We need more hill forts. We need more everything. 
as you can quite tell. Is there anything we can buy in that would help us? Wood, maybe. Wood could help us. Let's buy that. It's very expensive, but... It will help us, hopefully, with the housing. I think. Ah, well, if we build the huts, it's gonna help us. So we're gonna do that for a while. Oh, god. So that, 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 that. Wasted a wall. Wasted a wall. Okay, fine. Happens. So this is working pretty decent right now in terms of speed. That's okay. But let's get some archers in there. Those are built as well really quickly with our income. And we can go back to the hut. Let's build a hill fort. We're fine with a little bit of uh, vagabonds, but okay, so. Okay, some new heroes. Is this, uh, this guy, is he any good? Uh, not compared to what we already have. So let's try and merge a new one. 11. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 11 is better than what we got. Less that, more archer damage. Less workers, though. This guy is strong just for the worker one. I think. Okay. So if we know we don't want them, let's just destroy them. All this is looking okay. I don't think we need to do anything right now besides wait. Could throw some more food out. Get more people in homes. 1,800 food is how many people? Around 100. 122. Okay. I don't know if that stays like that or if it's like diminishing as we grow deeper into the ages here. I don't know. Let's see. Um, oven, better granary. Don't really need it right now. We should probably go for the quarry. Get some stone in there. Okay, uh, let's build one wall right away. Nice. So we go attack here again and we go trade with these guys again. And now, now I get into the hubris moment again. I always do the in Crusader Kings 2 uh, or in Crusader Kings as well. Not in Crusader Kings 2, but in Crusader Kings 3 I do that as well where I do well and I start doing things without really thinking through on the consequences. <laughs> uh, boy. Okay, we got rid of them. Because this here is, pr this is pretty dangerous. That is pretty dangerous. Let's kick some wood in there. Help rebuild. Ah, uh, level 10 hero. Is he better than what we got? Less risk of fire. That's not a lot, though. No, he's not better than plus one worker. It's a flat bonus, I understand. And bonuses, I understand, are always better than bonuses I don't fully comprehend. That are a little bit too nebulous. One worker is clear. I know what workers do. Um... I'll just take the money over time. That's fine. Passive income. That's what these guys always talk about, isn't it? Got to build yourself passive income. Got to be careful that these don't happen all the time at the same time. Plus, this needs to diminish as well. It's a level 10 crisis. That's not, that's not nothing. It's definitely something to consider. And I think... Let's throw another wood in there, uh, another food, because we got enough. Um, quarry first. 
I feel like it. Yeah, we go with the quarry first. Da 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 da. Good music. So can we merge these guys? No, we don't have the recipe for that yet. We can only merge standards and elite into a rare. So we could merge our common here, these guys. And we get this guy. Who's not even that bad. He's just not good. <laughs> Okay, this guy gives us the uh, militia blocking. That's what this guy does. All right, okay. Now I get it. Mm, we've only lost 14 people so far. That's pretty amazing. Let's throw in some more people into our houses and start selling stone. We can use up the wood charge. Okay. This first, then this. So we can do this. Very well done, us. Lots of food coming in again. And we only need to replace one archer. Let's see. What else do we have? We're working on this still. It's fine. Quest-wise. Could attack the mammoth again. So we get all the wood out of them, basically. Some of our bonuses are running out soon. Which we will feel, I'm, I'm sure. So let's maybe use it to build some more huts while we still got it going like that, like crazy. It's calming down in a moment anyway. But with the population growth that it is, I think we're going to go in negative <laughs> in a while. Not just yet, but... It's definitely a slowdown now. Wait. Yeah, not doing a quest, this one. 35% chance for crisis risk again. Ay, 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 ay. Let's shoot some more fire with our arrows. That has worked well in the past. I can't decide. We'll go with mortar. Get the stone walls up. And let's build a quarry now. This will take a while. But we're well stocked. We got all our soldiers in a row. We got all our walls ready to wall. We will need a quarry eventually. So why not now? Definitely need more fields. So converting that one village probably a good idea to sustain such a population you need a lot of food any civilization army marches on their stomach it's just how it is uh, okay we did it we did it okay 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 so now we're producing stone as well which is kind of crazy from the hero, from the quarry, ascension upgrade. Since we're an oligarchy, get even more. So stone stuff is, is good for us. Let's stop building stuff and just throw it at money. So five per click, but 13.1 on the go. Done. We'll take in some vagabonds because we do have the space anyhow. Let's get on the joinery. Uh, a plague. Let's shoot the plague. <laughs> I love this about video games. Oh no, something bad is happening. Let's shoot it. It's a very American approach. Let's see. Uh, this is happening in a second. We'll wait for that. Tribute. Yes, give us money. 
And now they turn into barbarians. And this year will be converted. And this year will take some more time. Okay. What we're setting us up well for next time. Because looking at the clock, it is uh, half past ten now for me. And I got a fairly important work meeting thing tomorrow. Uh, quite early in the day. So I will have to be done for today. I'll upload this over on YouTube. So if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you very much. Uh, like and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, check out the Twitch as well. And everyone on Twitch, thank you so much for being here tonight. It was a blast uh, talking to you guys and playing this game and just reminiscing a little bit about various games. And yeah, it was really cool. Hope to see you around again. Next stream is as per schedule Saturday, but I might be streaming on Thursday as well. Uh, around 10 o'clock GMT plus two. So I hope to see you around then or something in the future. Otherwise, over on YouTube. Thank you very much. See you then. Bye-bye.